Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing a console based banking application using Java programming language. In the last session, we discussed on how we can create a transactions and how we can add those transactions into the collection. In this session, what we are going to see is uh, we are going to see how we can print all the transactions which are performed by the user. So uh, if I just go to the main uh, class inside this if i just go to the init customer method so let me just go to the init customer method so over here what we are going to do is we are just going to add one more option which will which is nothing but see all transactions so let me just do one thing let me just add see all transactions and then let me just add a case of four also so let me just add a break and over here we have to call one method so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create one new method so let me just use private and as of now let me just keep it as void maybe if required we will just change it and then let me just add print transactions something like this and now this print transaction will require one parameter which is nothing but a user id because we want to know like uh, for which user we want to print the transactions right so let me just add one parameter which is nothing but a user id something like this now we have added this print transaction method inside our main class we need a similar method inside our service class so that we can call it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, add one method inside a service. So let me just use public void print transactions. Again, it will take a user ID as a parameter. Something like this. And now again, uh, we have added this method inside our user service then we, uh, we have to add a similar method inside our user repository. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add one new method, let's suppose public void print transactions. Again, it will take one parameter that is nothing but a string user ID, something like this. And now inside this print transaction method, we have to write actual logic. So inside this, what we have to do is like we have one collection. Uh, this is transaction is the collection name. So from this collection, we have to like filter out all the transactions which are performed by uh, the user ID, which we have passed over here. And then we have to print those um like transactions so how we can do this first of all let's try to figure it out like how we can filter out the transactions so what we have to do we have to use a transactions dot stream then we can use a filter now filter takes one predicate as a parameter so how we can just do like transaction and then we have to like use transaction dot get transaction performed by dot equals and then we have to pass like a user id so whatever user id we have received over here then we have to pass that particular user id and based on this particular user id we have to like filter out all the transactions and lastly we have to like just collect it using collectors dot to list something like this now whatever list it will uh, collect then we can just store it inside of the new list so how we can just do like we can just use list of transaction maybe let me just give like filtered transactions is equals to something like this and okay okay now let me just try to print these transactions so how we can just do like we can just do one thing we can just use a for each loop so we can just use for each transaction t from filtered transaction and then over here 
what we can just do like we can just use system dot out dot print ln and then um, like we have to print some data but we want some format right so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add some format like we i'm just going to add some column headers so first thing is nothing but a date then after that i'm just going to use a slash t which is nothing but a tab then um, the different fields we have so first of all i'm just going to print a date then we have the user id then we have the amount then transaction type initial balance final balance and transaction performed by so the second parameter the second column header will be the thing like user uh, id then the third column i'm just going to add is nothing but a transaction amount amount then type then initial balance and final balance so initial balance initial balance and then final balance something like this and in like let's suppose these are the column names and in similar way what we have to do like we have to uh, in sim in the exact same sequence we have to add the uh, uh, add the values also so what i am just going to do is i am just going to use t dot get transaction date then i am just going to add a t like slash t which is nothing but a tab so let me just do plus concatenation slash t something like this and after that let me just use transaction user id then let me just use t dot transaction amount then let me just use t dot transaction type then initial balance and final balance so let me just do one thing get initial balance and lastly we have to use like get final balance something like this and one thing that we can just do is we can just add one line inside the columns and values so we can just add one line something like this and we can just add the same line after printing all the transactions something like this and now let me just save these changes and let me just do one thing let me just come back to the user service inside of this let me just do one thing user repository dot printer transactions and let me just pass the user id and similarly let me just come to the main class and let me just do one thing user service dot print transactions and let me just pass user id over here now let me save all these changes and let me start the application let's see whether it is working as expected or not yes so one thing that we just left back is we haven't called this method uh, we haven't called this method from our case four so let me just do one thing let me just call main dot print transactions and let me just pass uh, user dot get username something like this and now let me just restart the application let's see what happens so over here it is asking me for a username so let me just type user2 and password let me just look for the password so password is also user2 user2 then let me just transfer the fund so for the pay account let me just use user3 user3 then amount to transfer let's suppose 200 yes so amount transferred successfully 
now i just want to print all the transactions so let me just choose a fourth option and if you just see like we are getting the date then we are getting user id like to user 3 we have transferred the amount amount is 200 the type was debit initial balance was 1000 and then final balance was uh, 800 now if you just see like there is a uh, lot of issue for this uh, formatting because this date column name and this date and maybe the user id and this particular user id they are not exactly aligned in a uh, like in a column so let's try to handle it we cannot fully handle it because obviously we don't have like a table structure over here so we cannot fully handle it but at least we can just try to make it um, like kind of consistent enough so that it will look quite good so what we can just do we can just do one thing for this a uh, type we can just add one more t over here for the initial balance also we can just add one more t and for the final balance also we can just add one more t and let's see what happens like let me just try it one more time but as soon as we restart the application we have to perform all the uh, transaction again so third then user three amount is nothing but 200 and use let me just use yes i think now it looks quite good at least we are getting some uh, uh like kind of formatting it is not exact like it is not perfect enough but at least it is uh, like we are getting the uh, some values over here in a like kind of format so we can print the, this kind of transactions with the help of our fourth option similar options let's try to use for our user 3 also because it is a debit operation for user uh, 2 yeah, by which i am currently logged in but it should there should be a credit transaction entry for user 3 also because we have transferred amount to the user 3 so let me first of all try to use exit option then let me just try to log in with user 3 and if i just try to use fourth option then if you just see uh debt then user id like from user 2 we got some money it was 200 and the type was credit initial balance was 2000 and then final balance was uh, 2200 that means it is like working as expected and um, like we are able to print the transactions if you want you can just perform many transactions and we can just we can just you can just try to print out all those transactions but i think we got the expected output and we are getting like whatever we were we were looking for so i hope you got the idea like how we can try to print all the transactions uh, with the help of like uh, these uh, transactions and then stream and then with the help of this for loop like how we can print all the transactions if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help you out in that case and i hope you enjoyed this session i'll see you in the next session